Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Malik Jio 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. Okay, uh, this is going to be session 2 on my uh, ASM storage management series where in our previous session we uh, gone through what is ASM and uh, you know and what is uh, cluster file system and what is volume manager and what are the uh, you know uh, services that ASM can provide all this ASM benefits we already seen it and also we we checked about stock software stack without ASM and with ASM we saw this one and then we also gone through mirroring and striping and mirroring is basically a duplicate copy of your uh, record and striping is distributing your data across all the disks so everything we covered and uh, i'll just quickly cover in this today's session with asm benefits and uh, and then i'll go with the uh, dynamic rebalancing and then you know we'll go with the asm tools and then we'll go with the asm architecture okay before i get started with the today's session asm benefits and the overview uh, if you are new to my channel always go back to youtube and search for malik 34 and then please do subscribe if you like my videos please share like and comment okay so before i start with asm benefits i will uh, quickly give you my analysis uh, you know uh, as i just give a correlation between my traditional uh, rdbms and then you know rdbms on a a asm cluster file system so if you see this is server A and this is server B, I can say server A and this is going to be my server B. So I have a couple of storage disk here. I can say disk 1, disk 2 and disk 3. Okay, if I can say uh, this is for my uh, Rico and uh, this is for my data and this is for my control file. Okay, so this is going to be a record data and control file and this is going to be my uh, instance here, database instance. I can say uh, DB1, DB1, right? So if I create this database one as, a, as this one as my uh, traditional uh, uh, RDBMS in my local file system, I can mount this uh, particular file system as a slash Rico and i can mount this one as a slash data and i can mount this one as slash uh, control so i have three mount point and then whenever you access your database you know uh, this database any io request or any application request or user request will all go to data at this particular mount point and then it will fetch the data and if there is any rico redo operations and all it will go to this uh, rico mount point and will access the data and then it will you know bring back the result and if anything related to control file and all everything will be uh, io related to control file will happen in this mount point so you know if you consider always data will be hard disk like you know it will be more io in the data disk and in the rico and the uh, you know control file where it's very less uh, io operations and i am not using the optimal use of these two disks whereas i am using a more on data disk groups uh, on, on data disk so uh, out of these three disks only data disk or this particular disk group will be used more and this count this control file and then the rico mount point i'm not using uh, more so that is not optimal use so rather than that if we use asm what happens i'm going to give you analysis so i will give you my uh, instead of reco data and control file what i can say i will just name it as a disk one uh, disk one and this is going to be disk two and this is going to be disk three so in this three disk what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, create a disk group uh, something like this i'm going to create a one disk like this one disk group and i'm going to create a similar one disk like this and i'm going to create a uh, one more uh, disk group like this and then i can give a name for this disk group as a rico and then i can give a disk group uh, name for this as a data and for this i can give this group name as a control file so if i create a rico data and control file three disk group and if i create a database here uh, again i will create as a db2 and anything related to io activities or user connection or application connection to this database and any activity related to rico or data or control file if i add if i put some data like uh, if i put data abc and it will come and a will be in this disk one and b will be in this disk two and c will be in disk three so that you know i am using all three disk 
and I'm maximum using all three disk performance and that will give a much more uh, performance benefits and you know all three disks will be having more IOs and you know uh, I'm using all three disks equally so there is no hard disk and you know uh, 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 soft disk I can say so uh, or at any time all the three disks will be accessed and if I want to retrieve the same ABC data so my select query will come and you will take a data A from disk 1, B from disk 2 and C from disk 3 so so that you know uh, whatever I whether it's a writing or reading I am using all three disks whereas in traditional RDBMS what happens uh, if data comes if I request for any data or if uh, you know you insert any data always it will go to data disk group or data disk so at any time only this data mount point will be hot hot mount point I can say hot disk and reco and control file mount points are not used so in that case you know this is not the optimal use of my disks whereas if you are using ASM so I am making use of all disks equally so this particular uh, you know mechanism creating a disk group and uh, mirroring the copy and striping the data across all the disk everything will be provided by my uh, you know ASM I can I can cover it as a ASM so this is ASM I can as I said ASM is going to give me benefits of uh, uh, you know cluster file system as well as uh, uh, it will give me benefits of uh, you know uh, dynamic volume management right so this is what analysis if you can correlate with the uh, ASM architecture as well as uh, traditional uh, uh, DBMS architecture what is the difference right let's go back to the uh, benefits so uh, first and foremost reduced administration complexity that's true uh, you know we no need to take care of any disk ios or you know we no need to uh, go for uh, any maintenance kind or any special activities in this uh, disk related activities because everything will be managed by asm so that is administration complexity will be reduced we just need to insert data everything will be striped and mirrored and managed by asm and simplified daily administration obviously you no know, our day to day task is going to be very uh, easy and automated io tuning like asm as i said asm will take care of all my io tuning and you know distributing the data and generation of uh, meaningful file names so if you use uh, uh, oracle managed file omf oracle managed file system uh, and then you know if you just need to give the uh, uh, your table space name and your data file name automatically uh, the meaningful name will be uh, given by uh, you know omf and that that will be benefited with the help of asm and uh, reduced number of objects to manage via disk groups like you know uh, as i said if anything any property if i give it to rico disk obviously uh, that all property will be applied to all three disks you no need to give individually so just give for disk group level everything will be uh, reflected in all your disk whatever belongs to in that disk group right that is what uh, you know you can operate at the disk group level rather than disk level and simplified configuration changes so it's easy for uh, you know change implementation reduced downtime and then if you have this disk group you can easily remove the disk and you can add the disk online without needing any downtime i have right now three disks i can add one more disk and i can add two more disks or if out of these three disks i can remove disk three and i can i want to use only disk one and disk two all this adding and removing disk from the disk group is online we no need of any downtime and reduced storage product cost right you know we no need to purchase any third party software to manage your value manager kind of things uh, everything will be managed by asm so again there is a cost uh, uh, you know cutting cost reduced and you know it will be one of the best benefits you can get it out using asm and value manager no longer needed right so again third party software we no need it and the other benefits are like it stripes the data across all the all the disks right it will be striping data into all three disks whatever disk belongs to that disk group it will stripe the data across all the disks enables online disk configuration dynamic rebalancing as i said you can add the disk you can remove the disk automatically dynamically your uh, rebalancing is going to happen so i'm going to cover in my next session what is dynamic rebalancing and all in detail okay and then uh, next benefits or advantage is provides uh, you know adjustable rebalance speed you can increase your rebalance speed and you can decrease your rebalance speed by setting asm power limits right if you can see there's a asm underscore power under asm power limits so if you by setting that power uh, power limit you can start more child process and you know you can reduce the child process and you can speed up your rebalancing 
and provides the redundancy on the uh, file basis it will give it will give redundancy as i said normal redundancy high redundancy and external redundancy whatever redundancy you can go for it and support only oracle files and is a cluster aware like it's cluster aware as i said uh, you know right now it is db2 it is accessing here and you can have uh, your asm here instead of db2 you can have uh, one more instance i can say uh, one more instance or two more instance you can have it instead of db2 you can give the name uh, uh, db2 and i can make it as instance 2 and i can make it as a db2 and instance 3 and i can make this one as a db2 and instance 1 right this is only one database database one but i have three instance db2 instance one db2 instance three two and db2 instance three all these three instance can able to access uh, my storage and you know if you can see all these three instances can able to access one shared storage that is a cluster aware cluster file system and it automatically installed as part of your base code set if you install your asm and you know grid infrastructure automatically uh, you know your uh, uh, asm will be uh, installed and whereas in your oracle restart service you can install your uh, oracle restart service oracle asm okay next i will quickly go through a, a disk group dynamic rebalancing okay uh, assume that like right now i have a disk one here and disk two here only disk one and disk two i have two disks if you see this uh, allocation unit, we call it as allocation unit. I will cover everything in detail. But right now you can say allocation unit is nothing but like your database block. As we can say database block in our database. Similarly, in ASM, we have allocation unit. AU we can call it as. See, right, disk 1 and disk 2, I have it here. And uh, if I can count these allocation units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 allocation unit on disk A and 9 allocation unit on disk B. So suppose I have added one more disk here, right? So now I become three disk. And then what happens? A three allocation units from disk one and three allocation unit from disk two will be shifted to my third disk. You can see here, if I remove three allocation unit from disk one and disk two, I will be left with six allocation unit on disk one and six allocation unit on disk two and six allocation unit I'm going to add it to my disk three so that you know my data will be striped across all the disks equally so automatically online rebalancing whenever storage configuration changes right earlier it was only two disks and i added one more disk it become three storage cells now and then automatically the dynamic rebalancing will happen and dsm will decide which allocation unit i can send it to my newly added disk and that is going to be online and you know it is transparent to the application or end user and end user and appli application is able to connect to my database and you know will be uh, operating as usual so this is kind of dynamic rebalancing right uh, no need of manual io tuning and online migration to the new storage all the au allocation unit or actual data will be shifted to newly added disk this is uh, you know dynamic rebalancing so and in in case if this third disk will goes offline automatically whatever the content whatever the data available in this disk uh, for example these three uh, this six allocation unit will be returned back to disk one and disk two and uh, three will be returned to disk one and three will be returned to disk two again it is going to be dynamic rebalancing so no need of any downtime so whenever there is a disk addition or disk deletion so automatic rebalancing will takes place and you know that is transparent to the application or end user and there won't be any impact at the uh, you know uh, existing or new connect new user connections that is about the uh, asm dynamic rebalancing so i'm going to cover uh, what is asm power limit and uh, how this dynamic rebalance is going to happen and you know we'll see how uh, how we can monitor this rebalancing at asm level and by adding some disks and dropping some disk in my uh, future uh, lab sessions so i can quickly uh, cover asm tools so we have uh, you know uh, uh, number of tools uh, can work with asm one is the asm tool and oracle asm library Oracle ASM library will be helpful for uh, creating your uh, ASM disks and you know giving it to the uh, ASM disk group creations and ASM tool for your uh, management and uh, uh, ASM CMD, ASM CMD is a command line utility you can uh, uh, monitor your disk groups and disks and uh, the files inside your ASM disk groups 
and um, you know there's a one more command uh, called i can say that asmca asm configuration assistant with that you can create your new disk groups or you can drop your disk groups or you can drop your disk and you can uh, uh, you know add your new disk so you think you can do it asmca and there is a debugging tool called k and k fed and vara check sorry ocr check so all this tool we will check it manually we will uh, we will log into our uh, lab machines and we will check all these commands and how it works and what are the outputs you can see it out so everything we'll check it here uh, in my next sessions so uh, architecture part uh, i would like to cover it in my uh, uh, you know next session uh, in in one single session i wanted to take this architecture and uh, uh, general uh, architecture if you can see this is the overall architecture and generic or uh, general architecture and uh, you know asm based component what are these components and then uh, and the correlation between my Oracle instance and ASM instance. So, and then uh, what is the special about ASM? So, everything I will cover it in next session. So, with the today's session, I'm going to stop it here. So, I'll just recap whatever we did so far. We gone through uh, ASM benefits. So, there are plenty of ASM benefits, and there's a lot of advantages using ASM. And uh, we saw dynamic rebalancing, and uh, you know you can increase or you can increase the uh, rebalancing speed using ASM underscore power limit. So and then we, these are the ASM tools, ASMCA, ASM tool, and Oracle ASM and ASM CMD, K4, K Fed, and you know OCR check. So uh, we will see all this uh, in future sessions. So I hope this is helpful, guys. Uh, thank you. We'll uh, I'll, I'll come up with uh, you know architecture explanation in my next session. Thank you.